What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another list video. This time it's five uh, comic book based games on the Nintendo Switch for you guys to play. If you guys don't know, Comic Con NYC is happening right now from the 6th through the 9th. So I thought it would be fun to do a fun little video on um, comic book based games that are on the Nintendo Switch. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into those games. The first game I have for you is Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Now I have played and beat this one. A review for this one exists on the channel. If you haven't seen it, links will be in the description up above. Um, yes, so Marvel Ultimate Alliance is a lot of different um, Marvel characters in the Marvel franchise in this world uh, trying to uh, beat Thanos at the, essentially. Uh, so. It's part, if, if this is the third part of the uh, Ultimate Alliance series, I haven't played part one or two, but I beat part three, enjoyed my time with it. You can play it up to four players online, which is great. I played it two player online, so it was a super fun game to play with a lot of the Marvel characters. I'm trying to think which character. I stuck with like two characters. I know I did, I did Storm for a little bit. There was one other character. I can't remember the name. Um... But I know I was definitely Storm, and I was definitely another female character. And I, I think when Mars was playing, he was playing Spider-Man. So definitely a game that is fun to play multiplayer um, during the Comic-Con season. If you can't go to the convention, hopefully you'll have fun playing comic book style games. The next game I have for you is another Marvel game, and this time it is Lego Marvel Super Hero. So this one originally came out for the 3DS and was and the Wii U I believe and was finally re-released to the Switch after some time. Um so this is the first part of a two part games. Um I believe the I know the Fantastic Four are in this one. I didn't beat this game admittedly. I started playing it on my own and decided that all my Lego games will now be played with my children. So I haven't beat this one. I played a little bit of it, got maybe like four boards in and then was like all right I'm gonna play this with my kids the next game we have is part two Lego Marvel superheroes 2 and um, this is the se second part this one was uh, originally released on the switch a lot sooner than part one was so I did play this one this is a used copy um, I don't remember how far I got in this one either. I did play a little bit of it, but like I said, I stopped playing these games and decided that these games I will play with my children and not alone. So this is another game that is comic book related on the Switch. Now that we did a lot of the Marvel, let's get some DC in here and we'll start by getting some DC villains. This is also another Lego game. Admittedly, I also haven't played this one either, but this one's definitely based on the villains in the DC universe. Obviously, you have Joker, Harley Quinn, and a bunch of other of the villains in these games. I haven't played it, so I couldn't tell you much about it, unfortunately. And the next game we have on the Switch is Scribble Knot mega pack which has this part right here which is the unmasked version which is uh the dc universe so if anybody's ever played a scribble knots game it's literally a game you can play with your children um and it teaches them how to spell or use their imagination to create different words that kind of go with something like you want to write jet or jet pack or like anything like that so like if you want to summon a villain you can write the villain's name like Catwoman um, you know Batgirl any anybody you want to summon in the DC universe you can summon in this game scribble knots if I'm not mistaken I played a little bit of this one as well but also stopped playing it because I originally started this one on the Wii U because it originally was released on the Wii U um, for me and I decided uh, I was playing a multiplayer with one of my kids and I couldn't, like they could pause and write their things but I was using the D, the, the pad and I couldn't write my, my responses fast enough by the time like I was getting beat because it wouldn't pause. 
So this is a game either I'm going to have to play by myself or learn how to type faster what I want to summon to help me beat the game. We do have one honorable mention and this is a MMO game. The DC Universe Online. And so this is a free to play game if you haven't played it before. I haven't either. I know my son tried it out and he actually kind of liked it. But it is a free to play MMO. So it's definitely probably filled with lots of loot boxes and microtransactions. So it's not one of those games that I would recommend. But like I said, it does go in with the Comic Con stuff. So anything Comic Con related, I kind of want to put on this video. So I'm hoping you guys, if you got to go to Comic Con in NYC, are enjoying your time. It is from the 6th through the 9th. And if you have not, I hope you have these games to keep you company while everybody else is enjoying Comic Con. Thank you guys for watching. Happy gaming, guys. Bye.